Let's make a quiz. So we're going to start out in the drive with a new document. This time it's a Google Form. I'll walk through the settings really quick. We're going to call this Make a Quiz. The gear over here is for settings. I like to collect the email addresses of my students and I'm going to restrict it to students at my school. Because I don't want to grade the quiz a bunch of times, I might limit it to one. I'm not going to allow them to edit after they submit or see the other students' responses. So that's fine. I have a few more things. Presentation is all good. I want to make this a quiz. I'm going to release the grades after I look them over. Frequently I make a mistake and I have to change an answer. Uh, I don't want them to get the incorrect score. Um, when they release the grades, then they can see the missed questions, the correct answers. But I always want them to see the point values. So I'll revisit that later. Okay. Question one, of course, is the student's name. The easiest thing to do is to just make that a short answer and the student fills in the name. Of course, required. If you have time, though, it might be better to give them a list of names. Early in the semester, I made a list of my students' names on a spreadsheet. I can copy those. And I'll change this to either a multiple choice or a drop down. A drop down will be a little faster for the students. And this way, the last name is first, just like my grade book, and I'll be able to put them in alphabetical order. Okay, this one is zero points. Now for my first question. What color was the car in the story? A multiple choice question will allow them to choose one and only one answer. If it is a question that has more than one possible answer, then I would choose checkbox. Notice the difference that the mark is a box and not a circle. I want to put in the answer key. And it is worth one point. I could make it 10 points. I could make it whatever. Done. Each question needs to be required. All right. Another thing that we want to take a look at is the responses. Once I put up the quiz, then I'm going to let them see the questions and I'll accept their responses. For right now, I might want to post it on my Google Classroom, but I don't want them to take it yet. I do want to create a new spreadsheet. And that spreadsheet is going to have the same title as my quiz, which is make a quiz. Yes, I want to create a new spreadsheet, a spreadsheet called make a quiz. That spreadsheet is going to look like this. Names are going to be all listed here in column D, and I'll be able to sort them alphabetically. Now I'm ready to post this. So I'm going to hop over to my Google Classroom and I'm going to create a new assignment. I could make it a quiz assignment that will give you a blank quiz, but I've already made my quiz. So either one is fine. Definitely though, you want to add it from the Google Drive. There's a reason for that. 
Got to make sure I'm choosing the form and not the spreadsheet. And the reason that we want to add it from the Google Drive is it gives you some options. It will also let you know who has taken the quiz because when they hit submit, it automatically marks it as done. That grade importing is a very nice feature. It means that after the quiz is graded based on my answer key that I gave it, it will put that quiz right, that score, the student score right here on this assignment. I've got to set the points. If I want uh, all the students to take it, that's fine. Or I can change that here. Your quiz. And then I can either schedule it, save the draft, or assign it. 